Hey everyone, it's Tim from Your Six Adventures. Today in this video, I'm gonna be cooking rice with this Aroma rice cooker that I recently bought off of Amazon.com. And this has been improving the quality of rice that I've been eating. It's fluffy and delicious, and it's much better than cooking it on a stove top. If you go ahead and look at the front of this Aroma rice cooker I have, there's a white rice bun, a keep warm bun, delay timer, power bun, flash rice, steam, and brown rice. Now I can go ahead and turn it on here, and I can see it's powered on, indicated by these orange lights on the front. And this is the bowl that comes with it. It does have measurements inside here, and this one goes up to four cups. And this is the inside of the cooker. It pretty much just seams the rice, gets a little bit warm. Now one thing I did notice over this method, over the stove top, is this will take longer. So I'm gonna be cooking two cups of rice. I'm just gonna go ahead and put two and two thirds water in my bowl right now. And then put it in here and then measure out the rice. Now I am using jasmine rice and I love this rice. I picked this up from Walmart. This is Imperial Dragon Jasmine Rice. For some reason, I like this more than white and brown rice. I think it just has a better taste. So let's go ahead and do two cups. And one of the disadvantages of using a steamer is it does take longer. So for two cups, it's gonna take me approximately 40 minutes to go ahead and cook. So you wanna go ahead and plan ahead of time if you're gonna be cooking or eating rice later in the day. So I'm gonna go for a run after I go ahead and start this up. And by the time I get back, my rice should be done. So I have two cups measured out and I have about two and two third cups of water in here. And if you're confused about the measurement for the rice and the water, go ahead and go into your user manual. And this will also give you the cooking times for the type of rice you're using, if you're gonna be steaming vegetables as well. This rice cooker does come with an extra pan that will sit on top if you wanna go ahead and put your you know, your carrots, your broccoli, your asparagus on top where you're cooking your rice at the same time. So you can have your steamed vegetables and your steamed rice all in one meal cooking when you're away, doing yard work and you come back and it's delicious. So I have my water in here, let's put my rice in here. Now, the rice cooker will keep track of the time, but it will only keep track of the last 10 minutes. It's not gonna count down from like 45 minutes all the way down to like one minute. So when I turn it on, it's not gonna make a lot of noise and you probably will not realize it's turned on until the machine starts to heat up and there's about five to 10 minutes after you press the start button. So I have my rice in here and this is kind of just how it sits. Make sure this pan is flat. I'm gonna put on the lid and make sure it snaps on and is tight and is closed properly. Now I'm gonna be doing the white rice option. Just gonna go ahead and press this. And there we go, it is on. And it's gonna indicate that it's powered on and it's starting the cooking cycle by spinning like this. It's orange. Now all I have to do right now is go work out and come back. So I'll see you in 40 minutes. So I just got back from my run and my rice is complete and it's nice and fluffy and delicious. Mmm, tastes so good. One thing that I love putting on it is coconut aminos. This tastes absolutely excellent on my rice and this is by Simply Truth and it's organic. Another thing you want to be aware about before cooking your rice is if I'm putting in two cups of uncooked rice it's gonna expand and become four cups of cooked rice. So you don't wanna overfill your rice cooker. This one is only four cups maximum. So if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six adventures.